The SNS Axis is an insane coaster project unlike anything that we've ever seen before. It takes the concept of a 4D coaster and completely reimagines it. The ride itself is so unique that it created massive media attention in only a few days. When the Axis was first announced, many thought that it would be instantly sold, with many parks jumping at the chance to have this unique and extremely marketable coaster at an affordable price. However, that didn't quite happen, and we haven't seen or heard any news about the Axis until now. It's currently October 2021, and we are just now hearing news about this insane attraction. And what is that news? Well, we recently learned that the first Axis coaster has been sold, and it's going to a European theme park in 2023. So this is great news for coaster enthusiasts, because we will actually get to see how this prototype ride really plays out. But is that it? Are we really only seeing one Axis in the future? Because honestly, only one installation of this groundbreaking ride seems relatively low. So in this video, we're going to speculate on what's really going on with the SNS Axis. Where's the ride going? And could the whole project be much bigger than you think? So join me as in this video, we discuss what is really happening with the SNS Axis. So as of now, the only thing we know is at least one Axis coaster has been sold so far, and it's going to a park in Europe in 2023. So we don't know the size of the project or even which park it's going to, but if I had to guess, I'd say there are a few plausible candidates. Energylandia, Alton Towers, Port Aventura, and maybe even Toverland are all possible options, but as of now, it's too much of a guessing game to make an accurate prediction. But as we come closer to the end of the year, we should have more information about it. But is that it? Are we only seeing one Axis over four years after it was announced? And many of us are genuinely shocked that Six Flags Fiesta Texas did not receive the first one. When the Axis coaster was first announced, everyone said that it would go to Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Six Flags Fiesta Texas is Six Flags testing ground park, so it would only make sense that it would go there. And this was a logical prediction. Six Flags has a great relationship with SNS, and the coaster was also in their price range. So it was pretty much a ride meant for Six Flags, with Six Flags written all over it. So why didn't Fiesta Texas get it? The answer to that is obviously Dr. Diabolical. Dr. Dio is a strange coaster for Six Flags, but Six Flags Fiesta Texas isn't your typical Six Flags park. Even though Dr. Diabolical looks like a pretty good coaster, there's nothing truly revolutionary about it. So it definitely comes as a surprise as to why they would go with this rather than an SNS Axis. But why? Well, first off, any custom BM dive coaster is usually planned at least four years in advance. And probably Dr. Diabolical was being planned at the time when the Axis was just getting started. So we now realize that the time frame would have never worked in the first place, but something's still unclear. Why haven't we seen an Axis somewhere else? I mean, there are a bunch of other parks that could get it. And back in 2019, SNS stated that they've received a lot of interest in the ride from potential buyers. So are we going to see more Axis coasters in the future besides this random European one? And I'd say yes. You see, whichever park gets the first Axis coaster is probably going to open up the door for other parks to do the same. This is something I like to call the new park prototype effect. This is basically saying that it's difficult for a new prototype ride to gain traction until the first park installs it and everyone can see how well received it is. A great example of what I mean is Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City. The concept of a Mac Extreme Spinner was readily available before Time Traveler. However, it wasn't until Hershend installed Time Traveler that the Mac Extreme Spinner's popularity grew. Only a few years later, we saw Ride to Happiness, which created much more hype, and I guarantee you that we'll see plenty more Mac Extreme Spinners in the future. So what am I getting to? Well, this European park that bought the SNS Axis could possibly open up the doors for other parks to do the same. And depending on how well received it is, the SNS Axis coaster could be a huge deal in the coming years. But the thing is, I don't think that the Axis coaster that we see now is all that is out there. And this is where the speculation starts to get a little bit crazy. I think it's very possible that SNS is currently working on a much larger version of the SNS Axis. And here's why. If you look at the stats for the Axis coaster, you'll notice that the ride itself is a relatively small ride compared to most thrill coasters. 
From the layout released by SNS, the ride is only 100 feet tall and has about 2,000 feet of track. The capacity of the ride is 1,000 riders an hour. However, that is assuming they're constantly running three trains, so I bet it's closer to 650. So what am I getting to, and why am I sharing these seemingly random stats? Well, you can clearly see that this is a smaller thrill coaster that still packs a punch. However, right now, it's not the spiritual successor to X2 that we all wanted. Let's imagine for a second that the height of this coaster was never announced, and all we knew about the ride was its crazy rotational axis system. If this was all that we knew about the ride and height wasn't a factor, what parks do you think would jump at the chance to get one? Well, pretty much every tier 1 large park, including Cedar Point, Magic Mountain, and so many others. But the problem is, these parks aren't likely candidates for the Axis now because the coaster is on such a small scale. If these parks were to get an SNS Axis, they would want a huge record-breaking next generation 4D coaster along the lines of X2, not a small scale high throw ride like SNS is marketing. And these parks would also be willing to pay the same price as a B&M for a crazy record-breaking attraction. So this leads me to believe that the Axis we see today isn't SNS's only Axis ride system. And I believe that if the European Axis coaster is a success, I think it's very likely that SNS will announce that they are capable of a much larger Axis. Something along the lines of 160 feet, 3000 plus feet of track, and slightly better capacity. Something truly closer to a next generation X2, and who knows, maybe it could even feature a launch. Obviously, this is just a theory, but if it does indeed happen, I'd say we'd probably hear news about the Mega Axis around 2023 or 2024. So to conclude, the SNS Axis coaster is coming in 2023, and that's certainly a really good thing. Whichever park gets it might open the door for other parks to do the same. Who knows, maybe the SNS Axis could take off and be like a good version of the 40 free spin, and honestly, that would be great. The SNS Axis coaster is a really insane concept, and hopefully it will become the successor to the Aero 40 coasters such as X2. This would happen when SNS builds bigger, taller, and possibly unveils the Mega Axis coaster, but who knows, that's just a theory. Even if we only get the regular Axis coaster, I still think that is totally amazing and I'm super excited to finally get out and ride it in 2023. So only time will tell how good the SNS Axis coaster actually is, but I for one have my hopes up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see content just like this all the time. And don't forget to comment your thoughts below on the SNS Axis coaster. What do you think the ride experience is going to be like, and which park do you think it's going to go to? This is the Coaster Josh signing out.